This video is sponsored by Veridesk. Wanna clap? Yo guys, Jonathan here. Yo guys, Jonathan here. Something about the Simpsons. Yo, what's up guys, Jonathan here. So I'm a John, but I'm not that John. If you've been watching our videos, you notice that things around me might look very familiar. We've been filming with John Morrison from TLD today, and I wanna tell you what's been going on and how we got here, but the story doesn't begin right here. So we moved into this space in 2014. So it's been almost five years since we came in and I had really grand plans for this. It was our first real office and there was tons of space for everything. We got to build out our own studio inside of it and make it look how we wanted and build sets that we thought we were going to use quite a bit. We had plenty of spaces for writers and we got a really big space. We ended up using all the walls to build different sets. You've probably seen us film in different locations through here. So when I made the decision to sell technobuffalo.com, it became even more apparent that this office space was no longer going to be necessary or at least where we called our office was gonna have to change. So before we keep going, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when new videos are coming your way. And I wanna thank this video sponsor, Veridesk. If you've been looking for a standing desk or maybe you've got back problems, Veridesk has been absolutely awesome for that. We've got the Pro Plus 36. Ordering was incredibly easy to do. Opening it out of the box is simple. The setup is surprisingly elegant and it feels really sturdy. So transitioning it from a normal sitting desk to a standing desk is really easy. It's got handles on the side. It just kind of lifts and it's got different levels to adjust to you know, your height. So it's sort of optimal for you. So the Pro Plus 36 that we've got right here is compatible with most regular desks too. So you can use it as an attachment to a regular sitting desk and then you just lift it up and it can sort of transition into a standing desk. So you can sort of pick how you want to spend your whole day. So if you want more information on the model that we've got or others in Veridesk portfolio, go to veridesk.com or hit the link down below to learn more. And a big thank you again to Veridesk for sponsoring this video. I just think it was slightly too expensive. What was kind of interesting, I don't know if you guys saw the video, um, but a few weeks before that sort of I sold the company, Goodbye Techno Buffalo, Hello Me video went up, I did a collaboration with John Morrison. Actually, we were talking about the iPhone XR and sort of how his experiences are different than mine. And then after we shot that video, I went to lunch with John Morrison and Josh Kenson, um, they're partners in Sun Squared Media, sort of the company that sort of runs uh, everything, including Josh's brother's channel, Kevin. They could see like the tiredness and the, like, the beat down look that I had from sort of trying to figure out what was gonna come next. And I, it was really the first time, aside from my wife, that I like, spilled my guts on like, I didn't feel like I could do anything right or well. And like, they just listened. And I hadn't had somebody that I could talk to that could understand what it was like you know, someone who's grown a business like, like they have. Um, and it just felt really good. I was sort of still debating whether or not I was gonna sell just the YouTube channel or sell the entire business and be an employee. And like, they just sat and listened um, like good friends. And then I got home that night and uh, John sent me a text. It was like, hey, can you come back tomorrow to talk? Um, and I was like, you know, that sounds like fun, but I, I can't, um, I should have a ton of stuff to do. He's like, well, can you, can we FaceTime tonight? Um, so I FaceTimed that same night that that video got filmed uh, with John and Josh. And that was sort of where the first seeds of us working with Sun Squared Media uh, at their spaces in Claremont kind of came to be. So I've talked a lot about the past, but let me show you around the present. So obviously there's a lot of new stuff around here. We've got a pro audio setup. We got sound panels. I got styrofoam on one side of me. Uh, we got usually a bunch of lights sort of helping create a more natural look and helping like this clear skin tone look like a normal human. Uh, and all that coupled with new cameras and new lenses um, have created sort of a different aesthetic and feel to the videos. 
So Sunsquared Media's got a few uh, suites. You've probably seen them show up in different videos. This is the one that we have tended to film in the most, and they've been really generous to let us have access to all of their equipment to try and sort of make our videos look as awesome as possible. So we've got access to awesome tripods with carbon fiber legs, sound panels, you know, magnetic mountable lights, uh, audio stuff we never would have had before. This gigantic thing, it's called a Phoba, which is how we've been getting those awesome top-down shots uh, are all because of that. And one of the biggest changes we made on the gear front, this is uh, one of two Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. That was a, a mouthful, it took me a while to memorize that. Um, but it was really a big visual change when we sort of made the decision to film here. We wanted our videos to look different, so we decided to move away from the Sony a7S Mark IIs that we were using. It gives us a lot more uh, flexibility and I think kind of a unique look uh, to the video. Uh, we have another camera on order by Blackmagic. It's their Ursa Mini Pro G2, but um, B&H hasn't shipped it yet. So we showed you guys the camera gear and you saw our old offices. This is where we've been calling home for the past few months. It's pared down and mobile optimized. So we sold all of our iMac we used to do the editing on and now we've gone solely for MacBook Pros. We got a pretty big Synology where we've been offloading all of our footage. We got a bunch of LG monitors of different sizes and this is where we'll have our meetings before we go to film where we'll strategize what's eventually gonna make its way to the YouTube channel. So it's been nine years and over 4,500 videos, but this one is different. So if you didn't see our previous video from like three months ago, here's a Cliff Notes version. I sold the Techno Buffalo website to Mobile Nations. I had been running the website for almost nine years, doing video for a little bit longer, and I was being spread really thin to the point where I was doing so much that I wasn't doing anything well. So after I decided that I wanted to sell Techno Buffalo, a few things had to be worked out. So what was gonna happen to the Techno Buffalo name? Obviously the YouTube channel was still heavily branded Techno Buffalo at the time. And then what was gonna happen to the writers that were writing for the website? Those were two really paramount issues that I had to resolve. And when I decided to sell to Mobile Nations, I've never actually talked about this uh, on camera before, uh, I had two other offers to sell the business. Um, one was to a private equity guy who just wanted websites, and one was to a larger media company. Uh, and the larger media company wanted to buy everything. They wanted to buy the website, and they wanted to buy the YouTube channel, and they wanted me to come on as an employee. Um, it was a tough choice, and I, I anguished over it for a really long time. And video is what I've always wanted to do. And if I was gonna bet on somebody else to sort of make sure I was employed, why not have that somebody else be me? That's sort of when I decided to double down on video and be a part of creating content that I'm proud of and content that I love. And so that decision became relatively easy. Then working with Mobile Nations became even easier. From our first conversation to signing the papers was about three and a half weeks. It was that easy. They were committed to a few things. They're committed to keeping the writers, so everybody who wrote for the website would still you know, be employed and get to continue to write for Techno Buffalo. That was important. They also were willing to work with me on the Techno Buffalo name, which was awesome. So you saw obviously technobuffalo.com went to Mobile Nations, but we still have the Instagram handle, which is Techno Buffalo. And a lot of you guys are probably asking why we still have that. Because Instagram is hard to deal with. The account is verified and Instagram does not let you change verified names. And the first thought we had was, okay, let's just lose verification and change the name, but they don't let you do that either. So we're kind of out of luck by having a channel that's totally been de-techno buffaloed and a company that's been de-techno buffaloed, um, but have an account name that is techno buffalo. What's going on guys? Jonathan here with techno buffalo with my unboxing of the 2012 Mac mini. I don't know if you know, but uh, John Morris and I go way back. He actually did videos for the Techno Buffalo channel um, a really, really, really long time ago. And then he obviously went on to you know, an incredible amount of success and I think be one of the best filmmakers in the tech space you know, that exists ever. So it was pretty awesome to kind of almost come full circle and to 
to be here and sort of learn from, from him and learn from the Sun Squared guys about how they make video, it changed our processes on how we make video. And I think it kind of shows the type of people that they are, that they saw somebody who loved video and loves video and loves the creation of it, but was just sort of looking for a very clear, like this was before and this is after. And it was hard to get that like line of demarcation while we were still filming videos in the Techno Buffalo offices. It had been, you know, five days a week. I was in the office from 8 a.m. till about five working. And that office was an important part of running a website. Um, but it was less important a part of someone who's just trying to make videos. Being an office building doesn't lend itself to sort of the best looking uh, type of content. So it was strange. I was sort of left with like a, like a shrug. So like very kindly, they're like, why don't you, we have some space here. Why don't you come film here? The very first video we ever did here was that Mac Pro video, which is one of the videos on the channel that I'm incredibly proud of. The creativity is, is, is back. And it's cool that it's, it's back with the same crew that we had at Techno Buffalo. You know, I, if, if you send me a message on Twitter, Instagram, you know, I try to be the first one to tell you that sort of the reason the videos look good is it, it's Matt Gonzalez and Robert Rosenfeld behind the camera that are sort of doing this work. And to see them have the same kind of growth that I've had has, has also been, been really cool. And to sort of see them kind of fall in love with the creative process again and kind of get out of the rut that we were in has been inspirational for me and the fact that it came from one of the darkest times for me professionally it was when I sort of went out to lunch with with John and Josh and sort of spilled my guts and told them it was like from those seeds of despair kind of like I mean sorry to sound poetic but kind of grew these like awesome flowers of creativity um, so at your darkest time you never know that could be the turning point when things start to get better and I never felt worse professionally than I did like that month and I never have felt better professionally than I do right now. And I think you can see that on camera. Um, so it's been, it's just been a really fun experience. And I've gotten a lot of questions about the sets and the studios and things obviously look visually different, what's been going on. So I kind of wanted to share the real story of what happened to Techno Buffalo and how we got here. <laughs>